Hey guys, what's the video? Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we have a reservation for Disneyland. We were here two days ago, but I did a live stream. I didn't film because I didn't have enough time to be here. But today we're gonna rock around the park like usual, see if there's anything new. I'll probably show you guys some of the stuff that I showed you guys in the live stream just in case you guys missed that. But anyways, I think we're gonna head inside now and see what we can find. All right, sorry guys, I don't mean to be repetitive, but I know you guys like to see how the entrance looks in the morning. This is currently 9 a.m. and it doesn't look too busy today. Not too bad. Morning. Hi, buddy. All right, come on through. Have say? a great day. And like a minute later, and we're inside the park now. Man, it is getting hot out here. So here's how it currently looks inside the park right now. I wouldn't say it's like super packed or anything like that, but it is definitely lively. But anyways, I think our first stop of the day is going to be the same one as usual, which is the Emporium. So we just got inside the Emporium, and I'm not going to say that this is Christmas merch. I'm not really sure if it is or not, but honestly, it could definitely go with Christmas for sure. But they have this kitchen towel. It's $19.99. They have this, literally, it's a Mickey pillow. I like how it's just blank like that. It's very soft, very fuzzy. This pillow is $44.99. $44.99. They also have a stocking with the Mickey on it. This stocking is $34.99. And then this blanket's part of the collection, but again, I'm not gonna say it's for Christmas or anything like that, but it could definitely work for it. But it says home, it's red on one side with Mickey's, and then the other side says home, and the O is the castle. This blanket is $84.99. And I will say, this blanket is super soft. I spy some new ears. Check these out. It's got the partner statue on there. It's got a silver bow. And look at the ears themselves. Look, they got fireworks. And instead of lights, they put like these little gems in there, little gemstones. It's pretty cool. Disney 100 on the side. And oh, wait, yeah, actually, maybe they do light up because look, it's got this little baggie, which I'm guessing has a USB. Yep, it's got a USB plug. Let's right, see how it turns on. See, you plug it into the back. And then, I, re I really thought they put the gems to uh, make it look like it's, it lights up, but no, they actually do light up, look. And like I said, these are rechargeable. And I like how they, uh, they kind of hid the charging port right here behind whatever fabric that these ears are made out of, so that's kind of cool. And just in case you're wondering how much these cool ears are, they're $39.99. And then here's a look at the ear wall. So far on this side, it doesn't look like there's anything really new. Uh, the newest pair of ears are probably the Pirates of the Caribbean ears. These ears, they have the bell ears in here too. And yeah, that's, that's basically everything else you guys have seen for some time now. So we're in the Nuimo section of the Emporium. They have the Ahsoka Nuimo, which I showed you guys this on my live stream the other day, but I'm not sure. Like I said, there's probably some people that missed it or whatever. But they do have an Ahsoka now, which is pretty cool. She is $21.99. Well, that was basically everything I was able to find at the Emporium. Honestly, the part, probably the coolest thing I saw was part of those ears. And I will say, I like how Disney is going like rechargeable. They don't like, like, like for example, like the lightsabers. Some of them, or a lot of them now, are coming rechargeable, and some of the ears as well. I think the first ones that we saw were the Beauty and the Beast ears that were rechargeable, but still, I think that's pretty cool. But anyways, we're gonna head to Disney Clothiers next. So we just got to Disney Clothiers, and before I show you guys all the Dooney and Burke bags again, I want to show you guys these pretty cool beanies that I just saw. So they have this blue one. And it's got a bunch of different Disney characters on it. It's got Dumbo, Simba, Marie, Alice, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, and then even more on the back. This beanie is $24.99. I actually like it. But the one I like more is probably this one. It's like a faded black, and it's got Mickey on it. This beanie is let's see, $29.99. And now for the Dooney and Burke bag. So they have the tote bag, which I mentioned on my live stream that I think this one's my favorite one because of the print. Um, here's how the inside looks. And this one is, thank you. This one's $328. And then they also have a backpack. This one's $278. And then they have the wallet. The wallet is 188 and then lastly they have the crossbody bag. This one's $228, but honestly I think my favorite one's the tote bag and then I have one more tote bag to show you guys. 
So here's that last tote bag I have to show you guys. It's part of the Disney 100 collection. So it's pretty nice. Got the par partner statue on the front and the castle on the back. This one is uh, $298. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Disney 100 uh, Dooney and Burke collection, or Dooney and Burke bag, you only have one of them, I think it came out pretty well. But they also have this kind of cool hot pink Disneyland sweatshirt. It is very, very bright, but I like how they did it. I, I'm not a fan of how the D's like basically in the middle of the chest. I like when it's like to the right or to the left or whatever. And on the back says Disneyland. Got the castle. And they look kind of popular. Like they only have sizes extra small and 3X right now on the floor. And in case you're interested, this one retails for $59.99. But next up, I have a shirt to show you guys, which is like literally, it's so new, they're just putting it out on the floor right now. Like, there's only one on the little like rack thing right now, but I'll show it to you guys. It's pretty cool, I like it. So like I said, they literally have one of these shirts on the floor, and they just put it out. Casper was like, oh hey, I see you're filming. I'm about to put a new shirt out if you want to check it out. And I was like, sure. They have this blue striped shirt with all the Disney characters in white. And I'm a big fan of this one. And I don't know, I'm guessing the sizes start from an extra small, but they do go up to a 3X for sure, because that's the size of this shirt. And it's pretty big. Uh, let me see. This one's $34.99. So after Disney Clothiers ended up coming to the China Closet, but sadly there's no new mugs here. I want to say the newest item that they have here is probably the uh, Disney 100 Starbucks tumbler. And they have tons of these, in case you're looking for them. And they're $49.99. But I want to say like on this side of the street, basically the, the store that had the cool stuff was Disney Clothiers. But now we're going to cross the street and head to Candy Palace. So here at Candy Palace, it looks like they have some new munchlings in stock. And I want to say they're holiday themed or Christmas themed. So clearly this is Minnie Mouse. This is a holiday toffee pudding mini with icing. Doesn't say how much she is, but they also have a Pluto. Oh, wait, 15 inch plush is $34.99. So the plush, the big ones are $34.99, and then the mystery packs are $16.99. But let's see what Pluto is. He's a beef and gravy pie. Doug? I think that's what. Oh, this is Doug. I thought it was Pluto. Now it makes sense. I was like, wait, why does it say Doug if it's Pluto? But yeah, it's definitely Doug. But they also have the uh, the mystery boxes, which I mentioned are $16.99. And here's a look at the different characters you can get. You can get Doug, Pumbaa, Miss Bianca, Bullseye, Robin Hood, Alien, and you can get a mystery character. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like, I think, I think this is like an advent calendar or something, or unless it's just one big plush. I'm not really sure, but whatever this is, is $149 or $149.99. I almost missed one. Looks like this is Stitch. So Stitch is, or if it's Stitch, it's a snowflake cupcake stitch with sprinkles. I think this one's cool, and, and clearly Doug. Doug's really cool. And as far as actual treats go, it looks like they still have a lot of the uh, the Halloween stuff here. But make sure you guys get them before they're gone. Because then Christmas is coming. <laughs> but anyways, that's basically everything new I was able to find on Main Street. Uh, I think the ears were cool. The, the what are they called? Munchlings? thought those were pretty cool. But now we're going to go and check Tomorrowland and see if there's anything new over there. So we just got to the Star Trader, and there's not a whole lot new, but one of the new, newest items that they have here is this jacket. Which... It looks kind of cool. It's hooded. It's faux leather or whatever that material is. <laughs> it says Disney on the back. Looks like they have sizes extra small to, uh, I want to say a 3X. And this one retails for, let me see, this one's $89.99. So besides that jacket, uh, the only other thing that I saw in here that was pretty cool was the, uh, there's like a Marvel, no, not a Marvel, sorry. There's a Spider-Man pop socket, which is like metal or whatever. So it looks pretty cool. Let me go show you guys. So here at the checkout stand, they have this Spider-Man pop socket, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen a new pop socket in a while. But I actually like this one. And if you do too, this one is $21.99. I also just saw this phone case. As always, they're uh, an iPhone generation behind, but still cool. This one's $59.99. So that was basically everything new I was able to find at the Star Trader. But I think now we're going to leave Tomorrowland and head somewhere else. So I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but last time I was here and I did a live stream, I showed you guys that they had that Mickey popcorn bucket that everybody's looking for in Tomorrowland at the, the popcorn cart. But over here at the Hub, which is located right in front of the castle, they have them at this cart as well, which you can't really see too well from here, but I promise it's, 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 it's there. This is the best angle I can give you guys, but see, they have them right there. 
They have a pretty good amount too. So basically, if you guys are looking for that popcorn bucket, make sure you guys check uh, different popcorn carts because some may have them and some may not. So I know we usually go to like New Orleans Square and all this side of the park, but I think today we're going to head toward, well, we're, I think we're going to make our way to Toontown, but we're going to check everything else out along the way. Man, I think it would have been really fun to ride Small World, especially with how hot it is today, but the wait time's a little bit longer than I'm willing to wait for. So a little bit ago, I showed you guys that they had that Mickey popcorn bucket at the hub in Disneyland. If you go back here towards the Fantasyland Theater, there's a popcorn cart to the left of the entrance of that theater, and they have them here as well. So make sure you guys check this cart as well. So as you guys can tell by the crazy looking buildings behind me, we just made it to Toontown. Uh, if you guys were curious to see if like that, that, or curious to know if that construction wall is still up here. It is still in the same place as last time. They haven't shrunk it or, or put it down yet. It's still up and there's like signs saying that they're uh, working on the fountain and other stuff like that. But yeah, pretty cool. So we just made it inside the engine ear store, I believe it's called. And right here where I'm standing, they had a bunch of round fly bags themed to this bird and looks like they're all gone now. And I showed you guys that like a week ago, so crazy how fast people move. <laughs> but besides that, there's nothing else really new in the store except for maybe the 100 ears, but they're not like new, but I guess they're new to the store, but that's basically it. So actually I was wrong. It turns out they did make the uh, so construction wall a little bit smaller. Cause I remember this part of Goofy's house was covered up too. The playground was closed, but it looks like now it's open and kids are playing around in it. I guess what's, I guess the only thing that's like like closed off is the uh, the fountain. So we're walking through Fantasyland. Look, Ariel's out right now. It's actually my first time seeing her. I still haven't seen the new uh, Little Mermaid movie or whatever, but you could definitely tell that Ariel made that little girl's day. Man, Corella's kind of a flirt. <laughs> but anyways, we just made our way back to the main street. That was basically everything I was able to find in the park today, so I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.